Sorry, sorry here. Um, we're at the Buckman Lock on the Cross Florida Barge Canal. Um, apparently this lock is still uh, in, in operation. I don't know what kind of shipping goes through here. It's my understanding that this project never reached its fulfillment. I don't know. Um, we're now just right off of uh, State Road 19. State Road 19 is right down there. You can just almost see the bridge. Right around that next bend, you would see the bridge um, way down there. Um, but this goes all the way to, to US 19, past all all the way out to the to the Gulf. But I don't know. I guess it connects up to the St. Johns. I, I just don't know that it was ever uh, completed or that it, it ever reached its fulfillment of its mission, which was to uh, basically cut Florida in half as far as uh, you know, shipping is concerned, be able to ship from the, the Atlantic to the Gulf, Gulf to the Atlantic, um, without having to go all the way down around the Keys and through the Caribbean and all that. But again, I don't know how extensive that was or how much how much it's used. I excuse me, I wasn't under the impression it was used at all. It's part of the Florida Greenway. So I'll do some research on it. We just stumbled upon, upon it. We was uh, we were uh, driving down the road, headed back to the campsite area, and just happened to come across it. It's really neat. It's obviously it's huge lock walls, gates would open. There's one on the other side that is open. I don't know what the flow is like here. I don't see any flow going through it. Maybe it's going underneath of it, or maybe it's completely stopped off. I don't know, or shut off. It's really cool though. So this is some sort of a tender's house here. There's air conditioning going on. There's an active communication pole of some kind. I don't know. Obviously the ship's weight there. So I guess they would go in here, the lock would open, they'd go in, then they'd shut the gates, the water would fill up, and then they'd get pulled on down the towpath. Very neat stuff. Pretty extensive. I don't know what kind of ships they were ever intending to bring through here, but they weren't that big. And it's called the Cross Florida Barge Canal, so maybe they were just, I mean, it would be like the CNO Canal back in the day was, that they had specific sized ships or vessels rather barges that were coming through. Did you find anything about it? Yes? Okay. But this whole facility seems to be geared towards towards doing this. 
This is an awful lot of machinery just sit here and let be not used. So I don't know. I'll do some research on it and figure it out. See, oh, you didn't get to see this. Oh, I'll show you on the film, but the gate is closed there. Oh. You can't see it from here or from where we were. I had to go, and I didn't even see it until I was right up on top of it. But the, you know, they call it the gate, the lock, whatever. It's like a dam. It's preventing the water's high on one end and low on the other. So maybe they open it up very so often. It, it seems like this thing must be still in use. There's an overlook on the other side, which we I don't know. For it. Make any sense? Hmm. Well, I guess so. They do put maybe they put pleasure vessels through here. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna do some more research on it. We'll post what we find. For now we are 20 miles, 15 miles north of Salt Springs, and out.